Olusegun lauds Governor Bello for good governance tackling insecurity in Kogi State. Hello, my wonderful people. Olusegun Obasanjo, the former president of Nigeria, has gone ahead and has is, is had a word with uh, the current governor of um, Kogi State, Yahaya Bello. And um, you would like to know quite interesting comments coming from the jail, quite interesting things going on right now in Kogi State. Olushe Basanjo has therefore allowed it at Apple Line Media. We don't only condemn bad governance, we don't only speak against them. We also comment good governance, encourage them to do more. So let's hear what former President Olushe Basanjo has got to say to Yahaya. Obasanjo lauds Governor Bello for good governance, tackling insecurity in Kogi. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo has commended Governor Yahaya Bello of Kogi on his efforts in improving security, good governance, and infrastructure building in the state. The ongoing commendation were met to the governor on Sunday in Abuja, adding that, adding that the former president urged him to sustain the effort which he has started already. Olusegun Obasanjo, while commending Bello for successfully tackling insecurity in his state, said Kogi was central to the national development. He urged the governor to sustain his effort in providing security for his state, noting that Kogi was central to the national peace and development. Former president noted that the fight against insecurity should have everybody on board, stressing that governors should innovate, in, innovate everywhere to ensure security is curtailed in Nigeria. Obasanjo appreciated the governor for his developmental effort in the state, especially in the area of youth and women inclusive in politics and governance, infrastructure, health, and education. He further urged the governor to continue to be an advocate for youth development in his government and to encourage them to join in the train. Responding, Bello thanked former president for his statement, for his statesmanship role, fatherly disposition and wealth of wisdom, which the young leaders are prevailed to tap from. The governor noted that although his state was surrounded by 10 other states and the FCT making in the extra between the south and north, west and east of Nigeria, Kogi, one of the 19 northern states, stands in solid defense against criminal elements. This is said has made Kogi one of the safest states in the country as at today. Bello assured Obasanjo that he would not relent in the fight to ensure total safety of his people and will continue to do his best to ensure the electoral promises are fulfilled and the people of Kogi State enjoy good governance. The governor prayed that God will continue to protect the statesman and grant him good health and long life and said, indeed, you have explained to us what really needs to be done and we will take it on board. Thanks for seeing what is going on and for ensuring that our voices are not kept down. You have spoken well and will take your words on board and ensure that indeed we have safety in Kogi State, which we have already started. Governor Yahaya, however, thanked Olusegwo Basanjo for his wonderful words of encouragement and appreciating what has been done so far. So, my people, that is uh, Olusegwo Basanjo in Kogi State, and um, acknowledging that Kogi State is surrounded by other states, yet security is ensured. I tell you sincerely, the governor, the government, have a strict and a serious role to play in ensuring that there is safety across the board. If a governor is playing uh, politics with the life of his people. These are some of the things that comes up. It's good that we see the good things going on in our society. If you're a person and all you see and all you are always noticing is, is wrong, 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 wrong. That is not a good position to be. It's not. You know, you have to see both the good, the bad, the ugly. What do I mean by that? When you see the good, you appreciate it. You commend it and encourage it to continue. When you see the bad, you condemn it, you discourage it, and you prevent it from happening. When you see the ugly, you work at it to ensure that it changes states from being ugly, not appreciated, not wanted, not to be referenced to, to become beautiful, something that people 
all over can begin to you know re, you know uh, you know uh, relate with you know uh, associated with and be proud of so that's the three states so no matter however you find something something can be done at done to it to ensure that that thing you know keeps the track and become better so the good can be changed the good can even be made better the ugly can become good and the bad can be transformed to become good the ugly can be made beautiful i mean to say so i mean whatever it is nigerians you and i have a responsibility we have the duty of care to ensure that our environment and our people are safe however we want to do that if anybody or anyone tries to take that from us we stand against it and we condemn it vehemently we do not allow our right to freedom to be trampled upon and this is what is currently going on with this administration making sure that nigerians are shut up however way they are doing it especially in the north for instance you see the stinge of call what we call oppression where people are not able to voice their views of their voices to be heard by leaders who feel they know what to do and will not want to have the opinion or what others think that is not the way to govern if you want to govern the people you what we do what we call inclusive government when last did your governor the governor of your state come to come around come to the state discuss with the people and hear their, op or, or their opinion what's going on what are we doing right what could we do better what are your what are your grievances how do you see this administration are you happy is there something we can do to improve the state is there suggestions and guess what if our leaders can imbibe this kind of you know inclusive government style is somebody out there because we know that this nation this world go round the nations of the world i can assure you that's why we are always saying let your voice be heard Whenever we give the news, everywhere, all around the world, the news gets there. Even non-Nigerians, I tell you sincerely, are listening to what is going on in the country. They are all our subscribers. They are all commenting. They are all living words. And we sincerely appreciate it. So what we are crying out for today, wherever part of the world you find yourself, whatever form of leadership you are in, just a secretary to a little group, just the leader, do what we call an inclusive government and you'll find more fulfillment in serving. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now. <laughs>